Car Obsession is proudly supported by Exchange My Car, Carly and Draggy. For a limited time only, use Car Obsession 10 to get money off with Carly and there's also a discount code for Draggy as well, which again is Car Obsession 10. All of the details are in the video description below. Hello guys and welcome back to Car Obsession. Now tonight I was hoping to bring you my full review of the brand new Audi RS3 Sportback but I'm still in the process of editing the video. Now one thing I have noticed whilst doing the edit is that it is going to be a rather long video and that means the Ask Aaron segment would have needed to have been cut out so I thought actually as the video isn't done yet let me do the Ask Aaron as a standalone video in which you guys will be watching now. I hope you enjoy it. Once again guys, it's time for Ask Aaron, the segment in which you guys get to ask me questions about whichever car I'm testing. This time it is of course all about the Audi RS3. So I've got your questions here. I'm doing it inside the car today because it's quite cold and windy outside and I'm being a bit of a big girl's blouse, but it's nice and warm in here, so why wouldn't you? Okay, so we kick off with uh, Instagrammer uh, smooth underscore criminal. Uh, he has asked, uh, MPG during the time you've had the car, uh, well, today's MPG probably isn't that good. Uh, no, it's 21 MPG, but for the long term, I have been able to get 33.4, uh, which I think in a car like this is pretty respectable. The official combined run from Audi UK is 31 miles to the gallon, so I am a little bit over that, but I have done uh, longer distances on motorways and A roads, and obviously uh, I've been doing less stop-start traffic. So yes, thank you for your question. Uh, the rest of my questions are from YouTube users slash viewers. Uh, here we go. Okay, uh, so uh, Mr. G-GHX asks, how much is that demonstrator? Let me sit down. Well, yes, this car is not cheap. This is the launch edition, which is uh, just below the range-topping Vorsprung. This has got the optional glacier white paintwork, which is £575. So this car, all in, is um, £60,460. Yeah, you heard that right. No, 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 no. Yes, £60,460. That's a lot of wonga, isn't it? Uh, thank you for your question. Uh, right, bear with me a few moments so you find the next one. Uh, I'm going to struggle with the pronunciation, so I do apologise in, uh, in advance. Uh, Abay Amangali... That sounded, that sounded quite good, actually. Um, he or she asks, uh, I have a question, uh, Aaron, for the video. How does it handle and how is the steering feel? Well, the RS3 handles phenomenally. Uh, there's very little in the way of understeer. In fact, I haven't detected any understeer. I think you'd have to, have to be driving the car really hard to get that and so hard that you probably wouldn't or shouldn't be driving it on the public road anyway. So, yeah, the handling is phenomenal the grip is just out of this world it's so so good it's so planted it, it it inspires so much confidence the steering feel is pretty good as well it's direct it's sharp it's got a nice weight to it particularly in dynamic isn't full of communication but enough to let you know what the front wheels are doing so thank you for your question uh i think i've got one more but i think it's a long one so it's from uh shazad ayab um Thoughts on its looks in the metal and its performance, whether the car has character, plus what's the ride comfort like on UK roads in all of the various settings. Sorry, I know I'm asking a lot, but then it's a lot of car. So yes, uh, let's tackle your question uh, uh, bit by bit, uh, Shazad. So looks in the metal, I think it looks amazing. Arguably, the saloon does look better, but that's subjective. But I think in the metal, this is a really good looking car the, the glacier white paintwork paintwork is really nicely complemented by the black detailing so yes a very good spec and it's not in your face it's aggressive but not showy and i like that that's quite it's good it's good it's uh, mean enough to let you know it's not your average a3 or even s3 but not to the point where it just looks a bit ostentatious although some may argue that that big front grille is a bit over the top but i personally love it um the performance, 
mind blowing, literally mind blowing. By the end of today, I think my brain would have just exploded. Um, whether the car has got character, it has got character, but a large reason for that is of course the five pot under the bonnet. I think if this car had a two litre TFSI, it wouldn't be the same. Uh, that engine, in my opinion, is just full of character. Um, ride comfort is very good, but this car uh, does have the adaptive suspension as standard. You won't get that on the base model RS3, so I would urge you to spec it because particularly on UK roads, uh, it would be uh, worth, worth your money. I think you would regret it if you didn't spec it personally. Pardon me. Um, and that was, yeah, well, in regards to the various settings, even when you have the car in dynamic, it's still pretty compliant. In fact, it's more compliant in dynamic compared to the A3S line I had had last year. Granted, that didn't have adaptive dampers, but the ride in that car wasn't particularly great. Uh, and I think that's your question fully covered, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah, so thank you for your questions. Uh, thank you so much. And that's Ask Aaron Dunn and Dusted for another time.